think I was probably a very early adapter to Dynalite. Um, I learned early in my career that I liked to light it. It was kind of, it was a, a part of making pictures that really appealed to me. And I was playing with lots of different kind of lighting. Paul Schwartz called me up one day. And this is going so far back, I couldn't even remember, but it was mid seventies. And uh, he said he had some new, new lights and, and was looking for a place to do a demonstration. And could he uh, stop by my studio with a case of beer and could I bring some photographer friends together? and uh, look at these new lights that he had. It was probably the early Dynalite. And uh, we did just that, did a Dynalite demonstration. I liked them right away, especially the fact that they were so lightweight and, uh, and compact. I started adding more Dynalites to my kit until I got rid of everything else. They were so dependable and easy to pack and travel with. And I'm on the road quite a bit and I like a lot of lighting, so it was a big benefit to have such small packs. I used quite a few of the, the originally the 500 M's and ML's and, and then the uh, 400's, 400 road maxes. With a digital camera, ISO 100 or 200, that's plenty of power. I'm traveling lighter and lighter. I don't drive around in a van anymore. I'm liking the 2065 heads. I use quite a few of those, uh, as many as four or five of those. And I like the studio head quite a bit. I use the, the beauty dish uh, that requires a studio head. And I use the grand softbox quite a bit also. I mix those two heads together quite a bit. The, 2065. I like the 2065 because they have have big modeling lamps, you know, high-powered modeling lamps, and then I can switch over very quickly, like I did today. I shot the stills of Grayson dancing through the set, spinning around, and I stop action and did my still shots with the flash without changing anything except the white balance in my camera. I shoot the video. It's just very fast and efficient to work that way. I think that I've been so associated with Dynalite for so long, people don't really approach me. I mean, there is that, there, there, there have been other people who have talked to me, but as soon as they see what I'm doing and their packs weigh 300 pounds, it's not a contest. They've saved my skin so many times. I was shooting something in Western Massachusetts with all of my gear and I had to be in Miami the next day and I just called up Peter and I said, is there any possible way you can help me out? Do you have a resource of Dynalite gear? And I needed a lot of stuff, like five packs and 10 heads or something. Do you have stuff in Miami? And he said, no, but it'll be there tomorrow for you. And they shipped it down and Took care of it all for me. It's all brand new, beautiful stuff. Well, I've been at this a long time. Um, over the years, I've become kind of a lighting specialist. I'm known for my lighting. And clients like Clairol and Reebok and uh, Nike, just a long list. I, I've, I've got a list A to Z. Some of my, some of my favorite things are music clients. Uh, I did a, a campaign of drummers with Zildjian cymbals and uh, Traveling with my Dynalites was really uh, an advantage working that way. Here's some of the things that uh, you may recognize from the last 40 years of doing it.